fetal skull diameters there is an easy way to remember fetal skull diameters there are total six components we can divide it as two first we'll write the middle one which is m m m three m's which resembles the number three three m's and two o's next we'll go to right side which is v v two lines two so v v b b f f second letter b two lines v and two lines f you can remember this two three and two and last one is we can uh, uh, put a dash at the starting and ending so we no need to write anything in the starting and ending and rest all we can substitute it with s s s s so this is mentovertical sub mentovertical sub mentobrigmatic sub occipitobrigmatic sub occipitofrontal occipitofrontal centimeters is 14 the highest mentovertical is 14 followed by 11.5 and 11.5 exclude this 11.5 11.5 11 point, uh, 14 and second one and last one 11.5 11.5 third one and fourth one 9.5 9.5 and fifth one or sixth fifth one is 10 so mentobotical is 14 centimeters submentobotical is 11.5 centimeters submentobregmatic is 9.5 centimeters suboccipitobregmatic is 9.5 centimeters suboccipitofrontal 10 centimeters and occipitofrontal is 11.5 centimeters the attitude of the fetal skull is three extensions two flexion and one deflection three extensions two flexions and one deflection three extensions are partial extension complete extension and incomplete extension flexion is complete flexion incomplete flexion and deflection presentation is three vertical two face and one bro three vertical two face and one bro these are the fetal skull diameters and transverse diameter. We can see a happy baby face with ears as eight. So by temporal diameter, distance between two temporal bones is eight centimeters. Above it, if we go parietal, biparietal diameter, which is nine centimeters, and below it, bimaster diameter, which is seven point five centimeters.